Hi, I'm Ray Scott and welcome to Visual Art Photography. If you've been following this channel for any length of time, you probably realize that the main thrust of it is photography ideas, different ideas, how to use your camera in different ways, and also a little bit of inspiration if we're, if we're lucky. I don't tend to take a look too closely at the technical side of things and processing, that sort of thing. But today, we are going to do some processing. A little while ago, I released a video called Flowers Emerging from the Dark. And there was one photo, the one that you're seeing on the screen right now, that really caught the attention of a lot of people. I got a lot of comments and a lot of messages sent to me saying, hey, Ray, how did you do this? How did you create that spotlight effect? Well, today I'm going to share it with you. It's not difficult. We're going to take a close look at spotlighting flowers. Whether you're using Photoshop, Lightroom, or any other software that's out there, there's always a million different ways to get to the same thing. So there's no right or wrong way. What I'm going to show you today is a technique that I use to spotlight flowers. Now, you can be in Photoshop as an example and use brushes and masks and everything to achieve exactly the same thing that I'm going to be showing you today. You may have a software that has a radial tool. Well, that's what we're using today in Lightroom a radial tool, and that will give us the spotlight effect. Now before we get going, I'd like to mention that your very important comments and questions can be addressed down below. Spotlighting flowers, that's what we're doing today. Right now we're in the develop module of Lightroom, and before we even get started, let's just make sure that the exposure is right. You're going to want this to be bright enough for your end product, so let's just bump up the exposure a little bit open it up. It may even be brighter than you think you need. I don't want to clip the highlights. So watching the histogram up here, I've just moved it uh, to the right a little bit just to make it bright enough and you're going to see why. Now, next step, we're going to go to the radio filter. So let's go up to the radio filter, which is the round icon up here in the uh, toolbox right up here in the toolbar. And now we're at the radio filter. We'll make all the settings at zero. Okay, everything's even right here. And then you take the radio filter, you take your mouse and click on it like that. And you build a circle like that in this case, because we're highlighting the middle of the flower. Now, you can go different ways with this. If you take the exposure and go to the left, you see what's happening? And that's why I wanted it to be bright enough in the flower itself so that it would leave us with enough light. Now you can also go invert. Okay, and if you do that, now you're darkening the middle. You don't want to do that, but you can also brighten it and make it way too bright. But we're going to start off with no invert, and we're just going to make the image darker, okay? And we're leaving the spotlight. Now you should also note that you can move this around, okay? Click on, click inside of the spotlight. Now look at this. You can move the spotlight around and you can put it anywhere you want. You can also change the feather on the spotlight by going over here to the feather and you can go to the left and make it really, really sharp. Or you can go to the right and feather it even more and lessen the spotlight effect. But we're going to go back to uh, the middle and then just a little bit more. How does this look? All right, now, once you've done that, if you want to change the size of it a bit, or, you know, you can, you can play with it that way too. So we're gonna leave it like that. Now, I'm going to hit enter or return on your keyboard, and you're left with that. Now that's fine, now that's a start. Let's go to, let's make another one. Let's make a new spotlight over here on this flower. And we drag one up here, like that. But you say, hey, nothing's happened. Well, no. And if we go to the left now, everything gets darker and darker. And maybe you don't want that exactly like that. And this is where you have to play around a little bit. Okay? So now, let's invert and see what happens. Now we're going to brighten this up. Look. 
Okay, we, I think we want it a bit bigger. So that's one. That's done for now. Press return or enter. And you want to highlight this one too a little bit? Okay, let's make a third one. So let's press invert again and go up to the exposure and move it to the right. So now we're getting somewhere. And by the way, while you're in here on this radio filter, you can add a little more clarity if you want to the to it or, you know, maybe take out some shadow. You can do whatever you want. All right. Now we'll hit enter again or return. Now this may be finished. This may be perfect. It may be exactly the way you want it or maybe you want it a little bit darker. Let's go over to the very first flower that we worked on and you can see the dot here and we're going to press on that and activate it. Now remember this one wasn't inverted. This was the original one. Let's bring the exposure down a little bit more. Let's bring it down and make it even darker around it. Look and it brings the whole everything is down. Okay now it's darker. Now let's hit enter again but you may be saying well now this flower is not bright enough. So let's get back to that one. Activate it and bring it up a little bit more. All right. Now you may be saying to yourself, that's not really as bright enough. Hit return or enter again. Now click on this flower again and draw another radius out. Okay. Click on invert and brighten it up some more. So you see now you've used, you've used two and you can, and you can move this around, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. And I think we want to make it a bit bigger actually up here. Oh, look at that. Look how it just spreads out over and hit return again. I think you're seeing what's going on here. So that's how you do it. And you can vary it. They can be different amounts of brightness and so on. So that's how you do the spotlight effect. Okay. Now let's, and you can see it up here on the left and, and how nice that looks. Let's go to another one here, finish product. And actually I like it the way it is, but just for tutorial sake for this video, let's add a spotlight. All right. So we're, we've got the radial tool activated and let's go over to this flower. It seems to be the most obvious, right? And let's click on it and draw it a radius. And, you, and by the way, this tool, you can make it like this. You can make it very oval. You can make it all kinds of different shapes. But for this purpose, we're going to do it like this. And by the way, if you hold the shift key while you're doing it, it will make a perfect circle. All right. So let's do that. See what happens. Now let's bring that down. The exposure down. Let's bring it down. Okay. Let's bring it way down. Just for fun. Now, Let's say that we like the background being that dark, but we need this flower to be a little bit brighter. So hit return or enter and let's build in another one right beside it. Let's drag it out and let's press invert and brighten that just a little. Oh, look at that. And then let's add a little clarity in there too. Ooh. and hit return or enter. And there you have it. Maybe you want to add something else. So let's add a little bit of a spotlight effect here. And let's do invert and let's increase the exposure a little bit and put one in there just for fun sake and hit return or enter. And then let's put another one, say down here and bring it up a little bit and we can even turn it if we want. We can just, you know, turn it a bit and then we can adjust it this way a little bit and we can bring it up here because maybe we want the pedal to be lit up a bit. Press invert over here and increase the exposure and look, look at the effect you can get and hit return or enter on your keyboard. And maybe we don't want to ignore this one down here. So yet another 
radius and maybe we want to just move that down a little bit like that oh you can play around with it and make it anything you want press invert down here increase the exposure slider and look at that and that one's of course not in focus as much so maybe you don't even want to highlight it as much and there you have it so you can do all kinds of different things hit return or enter and there you have it it looked like this no problem with that that's fine before and then after and by the way, when you're on the radio filter, when you're finished using it, just hit close over here. All right. And that closes that down. Let's go back to that original image just for a moment. And before. And after. With the radio filter, you can do it all sorts of things. You can do something like this or something like this. You're only limited by your imagination, but that's how you apply a spotlight with a radio filter in Lightroom. Not only does spotlighting flowers create a really unique look, but it really adds drama. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you give it a go. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you, it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.